Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Real Madrid in Football Manager 2019. I'm Aether and today we stand here with a very special moment coming up. Because as you might remember from the very first episode that this is not the save that I would normally do. Um, I definitely respect Real Madrid. I have a lot of respect from them. But I usually try to pick a team that be probably a, a little bit of a bigger challenge than, than Real Madrid. Um, and I know you guys normally don't watch uh, Let's Plays with with the big teams like Real Madrid and Barcelona and, and similar teams. You, you uh, usually prefer some, some bigger challenge uh, yourself. But uh, it was a very special reason for me to do the save. And that was in honor of a friend who, who passed away far too early, just a few weeks after Football Manager 2019 got released. And he was a huge Real Madrid fan. So in, in honor of his name, uh, I'm doing this um, save. And I set up a special, like as I said in the first episode, this will be a maximum of two seasons long. One to two seasons, depending on what happens. And today we are actually in a situation which could mean the end of the series. Because if we, and that's of course a big if, and nothing we take for granted, if we manage to win the Champions League final, and we are playing the Champions League final today, then we have won the league, we have won the cup, and we have won the Champions League. And then I can, with a smile on my face, say that I made my friend proud, and we have achieved everything we wanted. But of course, for that to happen, we have a team standing in front of us that we need to beat, and that is Tottenham. And uh, this won't be easy. We know how good the English teams are in the Champions League and Football Manager, and uh, I definitely wouldn't be surprised if we see another season of this, depending on what happens. And I was speaking about Tottenham, I think it was the last episode, maybe two episodes ago. Uh, I think, no, two or three episodes ago, but their road to... Uh, to the Champions League final, they really de de deserve to be here. So in the semi-final, they knocked out Athletic Madrid. In the uh, quarter-final, they knocked out Barcelona. And uh, let's see, in the first knockout round, they knocked out Napoli. So they they definitely deserve to be here. Some big teams they have managed to, to uh, beat on their journey. I mean, we, we did the same with some big teams, but they, they definitely deserve to be here. Uh, in the league, they have been struggling a bit. They are in fifth place, quite a few points behind the winner, uh, winning team, which was Man City. But at the same time, this could mean that they have had the possibility to rest the team, focus on the Champions League, and that's why they're going to be so difficult. And actually, of course, I did my, my own research, my own scouting of the team. I look at the team, they basically don't have any injuries on on any like important players. Uh, so they will be able to play with more or less the strongest team. Everybody's ready. Everybody's fit. Look at the fittest levels. Um, I think it, this is an open open game. Since we are Real Madrid, we should be favourites. But I'm not taking anything for granted. I won't say that we are huge favourites. Just that we are in a position where we could be... We, we should be considering favourites, but it could be a very, very tough game. Uh, as you know, uh, Casemiro is uh, injured, long, long injury. We won't be seeing him for until the next season. Uh, Caballos is still injured. And we uh, actually have some room on the bench here. So we're going to bring in some more defenders. And, of course, we're going to bring in our goalkeeper. And that's, this is a li little uh, interesting thing. Because Kodza has, of course, been our main goalkeeper this season. He's been our, our number one. But in every cup game, uh, Navas has been, been the goalkeeper. So... I'm not making any excuse just because of the Champions League final. He will be starting this game too, since he has been starting every Champions League game before this season. And if you look at his average rating here, it's actually a little bit higher than uh, Kodsa. But if in, if you look at the last five games, Kodsa has been a little bit stronger. So it's really, really close now when it comes to, to uh, how they are performing. But I think we've talked enough now. It's time for the Champions League final and oh... This is huge. And if you, you can see all the big uh, Tottenham names there with Eriksen, Hurricane, Delali, and so on. But I would say also we have all the big boys ready to, to play. And uh, what we say here? Um, should we go passionate? I mean, it's the Champions League final. I think we should go passionate. 
Um, let's just talk about the fans. And nobody cared. Come on, lads. What's up with that? It's the fans. It's a Champions League final. You should care. You should be passionate. Well, not the best team talks we have had this season. But the game is on. Champions League final. The moment of truth. Now is the chance. And here's Tony Cross for the corner. It goes far. And Benzema. And on the rebound. Benzema. Again. His 25th goal of the season. And we are off to a dream start here. Haven't even played four minutes when Benzema scored. Let's look. Uh, the replay here. Cross for the corner. Benzema with the header. It bounces back. And then gets another try. And no chance for Lloris in, in the Tottenham goal. But something here happens ASAP from the kickoff here. I said so many times before. Whenever I score, it becomes a highlight ASAP. From kickoff, it's usually bad news for, for, for me. But maybe, just maybe we can turn it around to something good. Or maybe not, because we are losing possession here. Come on, lads. Isco. Asensio. Asensio. Back for Isco. Isco. Here is Sergei. Milinkovic, Milinkovic for Bale, Bale from ba bad angle, but we get a corner, we get a corner out of it. Cross for the corner, goes far, and that was actually a great chance for Benzema. That was kind of almost even better than the one he scored from. Really feel like he should at least been able to hit the target from, from that distance. Now the clock just ticks away, here is a throw in. Goes to nobody. Milinkovic cross. Cross for Isco. 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 Goes for the other side here. Aldrionso. Bail. Bail. No. No, no, no. This is bad news. This is really bad news. This is not what we want to see. Focus, guys. Passion. Win it back. I mean, Harry Kane. It's just too good. I think the, I feel like the only way to stop Harry Kane is probably with a, with a shotgun or something like that. Because that finisher was was more or less perfect. Take a look at this one. Can't really blame the goalkeeper for that one. But of course it's devastating. It's a Champions League final. We are dreaming. We are believing. We are definitely going to do, demand some passion here. But instead we see another highlights that start with Tottenham. And that was unnecessary to give it away. Eriksen is an open goal almost. But good save from Navas at the end. It actually wasn't a save, I thought it did, but uh, it must have just went outside. Marcelo with the throw in for Tony Cross back to Marcelo. With an early cross is cleared. Malinkovic into the box. And we lose this again. Come on, lads. Come on. And here's Isco! Here is Isco! And we are back in the driver's seat. The Champions League dream is alive. And as I said, it's, I said it before, but I can't stop saying it. You know how important this game is for me. Really, really important considering what this whole save is about. To honouring my friend. And winning the Champions League final would be basically the perfect way to do that. And of course, no offside at all. But yeah, this goal is goal right now. I kind of love you a little bit. But we are Real Madrid. We are demanding more. Yes, some pressure, but you should be able to handle it if you play for Real Madrid. Instead, we see Tottenham with a highlight. And they are back in business. Delali with a header. And I feel like that was weak defending. Really weak defending. Let's take a look at the replay here. Yeah, it's like you don't even try to challenge him for it. I am not amused with that one and of course the clock ticks away now we are about to see the half time whistle and kind of a crazy first half here four goals in the Champions League final in 45 minutes it's um it's not that common I believe but of course we can't be pleased we need to tell them that look at these ratings we have two guys it's Isco and Benzema with good ratings but then we see like 6.4 6.5 6.5 6.6 so there's a lot of room for improvements and um Let's go to the tactics here, because we have been playing Gang and Press, but I don't feel like it had been working perfectly. Let's try the vertical Tikataka. taka it's the one I'm usually using when I'm playing a little bit more defense-minded formation. Uh, I just want to see what effect it has right now, because I feel like the Gang and Press haven't been working perfectly uh, for us uh, this far into the game. Get creative, lads. Yeah, Real Madrid clock statistics. Let me look at the statistics. 13 shots to three. And it's a draw. How? 
We are clearly dominating things completely and still a draw, but looking now, nothing goes on. And of course, as I say that, we see Tottenham with a new highlight. Trippier. Beautiful by Isco. Can we turn it around? But no, 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 no. Luckily for us, though, Nava saves today and we are still in it. Um, maybe we should go back to Gig and Press. Because I want to see the statistics. I feel like since we changed that, we, we stopped creating chances. But maybe this could be... Oh, no! We lose possession again. We are losing possession far too much. Far, far too much. Maybe we should try to play possession-based short time pass passing. I haven't done this before. The, the Control-based possession or possession-based. I haven't tried to play that uh, in this series yet. Maybe the Champions League final is the right time to try it. Well, you could have took a shot there. It was a great shot, but here is Gareth Bale. It's the eighth, day, eighth goal of the season. Benzema with an assist and... Oh, I mean, you know from, from last episode that my voice is um, not in the top shape. And <laughs> I feel like with all the, the semi-screaming I'm doing right now, I'm about to destroy it. But I don't care. It's the Champions League final. We just took the lead. Gareth Bale... Looking at these statistics now to see what happens. We're definitely time to use some subs there. So let's see who's having a bad day at work. Marcelo, yes, Asensio. I think we're going to solve it like this. That Isco and Asensio will change in places. And then we're going to bring in Vincius Jr. instead of um, Asensio. So he will be the left winger. And then... Hmm, let's take a look at fitness levels. Tony Cross. Haven't had a great game, not a great body language either. I think it's time to bring in Luka Modric. And we're not parking the bus. We are not parking any bus here. Let's go for the last sub. I think it's time for Danny Drinkwater, the man we signed for this season for, I think it was 5 mil. And he's been very good for us. Go for those 5 mil, but here is Tottenham with the throw in. Focus, lads. Beautiful, beautiful. Turn it around. Counter-attack, Benzema. 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 I could go all by himself. So nice drink water. Could you imagine drink water coming in as a sub in the Champions League final and scoring? Oh, this is really... I was about to say, this is really dangerous. And of course, it is his first goal of the season. Ah, oh, this happened years too quickly. And uh, I'm not sure what Navas was up to there. Maybe it was a mistake not playing our number one goalkeeper. But something else is going to happen. It's going to be a, well, at least one last highlight here during extra time. And it looks like... Oh, maybe it's just an injury. Maybe it's just an injury. Because we are going to have extra time here in the Champions League. Oh. Now is the question, I'm not sure about the rules, because in some competitions nowadays, first off, we're not pleased. Do we get... Actually, we could, we could just, um, just start extra. I just want to see, do we get an, an extra sub? I'm not going to do it for real now, I'm just trying things around. Yes, we are getting an extra sub. So uh, we're going to wait for it uh, for a little bit longer, but then we need to start thinking if we want to bring in someone early to get some fresh legs onto the pitch, or if we want to just to stay cool and bring in somebody who's good at penalties. We'll have to think there. But we can't wait too much longer, because if we want to bring, bring on some fresh legs, wait, actually, let, let's, let's pause it already. Let's uh, go to, uh, to the set piece taker. Actually, we could... Come on, game. Now it's completely lagged out. Uh, I want to go to, to the penalties. And uh, now's the question. Um, Mariano, definitely an option to bring in. Fortunately, we subbed off Asensio and Malinkovic. Um, I think Mariano is, uh, is a winner here. Well, we want to keep on Benzema at the same time. So I uh, guess we should wait a little bit longer before we make that sub. Well, we want to bring on Mariano if he goes to penalties, but maybe we can finish this one up earlier. That would be, of course, the dream. 
that we really would like to, to see happening. But ah, what's up with that? Just giving it away again. Yeah, we, we don't normally lose this much possession during the games. Let's pause it. I'm going to try the, that uh, I was talking about. Let's try to go uh, control possession. I haven't played this one uh, before. Let's just try the default one, see how it feels. I feel right now it's been far too much back and forth, back and forth. And once again, we see Tottenham. Nobody tried to stop him. Why is nobody trying to stop him? You have three guys and you just like open up a road for him to go straight through. Let's show what's up with that. Clear by Varane, but he's going to come back quickly. No, it's not. I think it's time to show some passion, guys. And here is uh, a throw in. What do you call it? Goes for, oh, I was about to. Th I'm, I'm getting confused sometimes because they are playing in, in, in white, and I'm so used to where I was being white. So I saw a player, I was an offside, uh, a player wearing white, and I thought for a millisecond that this is going to be something huge for us. And then realized, no, of course not. It's a Tottenham player. I'm not sure if uh, if this uh, controlled possession thing is working. Maybe we should uh, go back to Gegenpress once again. Why is every single highlight starting with Tottenham? Why is nobody trying to stop them? I don't understand it. Nobody tries to, to, to win the ball. Nobody at all. But here is Bale, here's Gareth Bale with a chance to become a hero! And he takes the chance! No! Yes! Yes! It, oh, it's an actual no goal by Ben Davids! Let's take a look at the replay here. This is the dream. So Bale, Bale, and then it saves it. And I'm not sure, I think it, it shots and uh, bounces off Lioris back to the defender and then into the goal. And now we are actually going to, to park the bus when, when this highlight is, is over. Uh, considering, uh, of course, that they don't score. I'm going to, to change uh, the defensive line to, to much deeper. So now let's go to the tactic screen. We are clearly going to go like this. Now, how do we solve this? Um, now we're not going to gamble for penalties, of course, which means we could... Is there anybody that actually likes to play in this position? Kind of not Modric. Can you-ish drink water? Can you-ish? I think drink water could be the best option. And then... We have one last sub. Who will it be? I think we're actually going to go with Marcelo. Jello card, playing like garbage and he's really tired. Uh, and I'm not often change around the uh, defenders like that because uh, usually don't have that great of an effect but I think now we're gonna do it and of course let's pause it there I, I forgot the most important thing we were going to park the bus why don't you guys remind actually we, let, let's go we, we are going to go real Really, really defense-minded now. Really defense-minded. No, the clock just takes away. Nacho with a throw-in. Benzema into the ball. It's going to be a penalty. This is the moment where we could win Champions League. This is the moment that we dreamt of the whole season. Isco steps up and he makes no mistakes. Guys, you know what this means. They have... Four-ish minutes to turn this one around with two goals up. We can smell the glory of the Champions League title. This is... Oh, I'm, I'm almost tearing up right now, guys. I'm almost tearing up because this means so much for me. This is such a special moment. Such a special man. It means... I mean, it means the world. I knew when I started this save... There, there was a big risk that I wouldn't manage to to end it in success. But I felt like, I at least I need to try. 
and and my friend who passed away he he would just he would know like uh, if I try he would have appreciated it but now this is more than just trying this is a miracle we won the league we won the cup we won the champions league could you imagine like this is a fairy tale and i said before yes real madrid is not not the toughest team to to win titles with but yeah this means a lot to me guys it really does and of course this means it, this is the end of the series couldn't imagine a better ending and oh, oh my gosh I'm, I'm 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 tearing up right now uh but i just want to say thank you big thank you to all of you who shared this journey with me who's been supportive who's giving videos thumbs up who's commented and basically allowed me to do this last thing for for my friend but still i mean it's been a fun save at the same time because I usually play with a little bit of a smaller teams. This, uh, this has been like a completely different playing style that, that I normally do. I have had to focus on things that I normally don't focus on. And it's been a blast. So yeah, thank you all so much. And of course, this is the end of this series. Uh, but I hope I see you all in the future. Yeah, thank you so much.